Hey YouTube friends and family, how is everybody doing today? And I hope everybody is doing blessed and well today. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video with Cooking with Cheryl Spiritual Kitchen, okay? And today we're going to do something different. We're going to cook, but we're going to cook a little bit later on. Um, right now, I just came back. It's been a long morning. I actually went to Walmart and did a little grocery shopping today. So I'm going to... I'm going to show you my grocery haul, my Walmart haul today, okay? I'm going to show you my Walmart haul, and then I'm going to kind of, I'm going to do some steaks today. And the steaks that I do today, I'm going to do it on video. I'm just going to show you how I'm not really going to be on camera with it, but I'm just going to show you how I'm doing this meal today, which will be steak, mashed potatoes, gravy over the mashed potatoes, uh, and some asparagus, okay? And some garlic bread. So that's going to be the meal for today and I'm going to let you guys see me through that video too okay so yeah come on come on over here and yeah let's go let me show you this haul and I hope that you guys can see it I hope it ain't too dark but I'm gonna just kind of put you right there so let me see Hold on. It'd be nice if I could get it where. Okay. Um, Okay, now, we're ready. Okay, now, let me show you the haul. And we are going to start with, we're going to go from this way to that way because, yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Maybe I can see it on this side. That way you can even, I can just show you like this. Let me see. <laughs> Y'all be seeing that lady. <laughs> they be tasting that food. She's so funny. Like, I love to watch people content who got humor. Like, I love people who have, like, you know, sense of humor. Like, you know. Let me get this right first. I don't want y'all to be crooked. Okay, let me see. Okay. Now, still looks so dark though. Maybe I should put you over here and face y'all this way. But you know what? Oh well. So this we, we this how we gonna do this. Okay. So first of all, I want to show you what I have here. I have this. I love. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but this is so good. I love this Welch's passion fruit. It is really good, and if you haven't tried it, then you need to. And this is the kind of milk that I use, okay? I use lactate because, yeah, you don't get, it doesn't gas you up. If you like to eat cereal, and sometimes I do like to eat cereal, you can eat cereal without getting gassed up. So this is the kind of milk I got that I use. And it actually lasts up to a, over a, like a month or over a month. This is May. This doesn't expire until July 2024. So, yeah, that, that, that should tell it all right there. And then I got another passion fruit because I really like these. I have some cream for different things that I want to use the half and half for. Well, actually, hmm, this should have been heavy whipping cream, but it's half and half. So, yeah, I'll just use that when I get ready to use something that requires whipping cream because, yeah, that's half and half, but that's okay. And then I have some... Cinnamon Captain Crunch. Now, every now and again, I do like to eat cereal. Like, you know, like sometimes at night, 
five or whatever. Not really so much for breakfast some, all the time, but mostly for um, a little snack. I like to eat it, you know, it's really good. So yeah, I do like to eat those. Hold on one second. Okay, that should be a little better. But I just wanna lift it up a little bit higher. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to get this where well, y'all can see it, right? Okay, I hope that's good and I hope you guys can see a little bit better. So, we was with the Captain Crunch. So this is the new Captain Crunch, Cinnamon Captain Crunch. When I was a girl, Captain Crunch was my favorite cereal. This and Fruit Loops, but, and, um, Apple Jacks, but those don't taste the same. It's and sugar smacks. Like I really love sugar smacks, but it seemed like the sugar smacks that used to be in the box and uh, uh, certain cereals that used to that they still have in the box. But back then, when I was a girl, it seemed like they were they tasted better. They taste like what the bag cereal tastes like now. Is what I'm trying to say. So I don't know. C cereal don't taste the same, but Captain Crunch do. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to try this cinnamon Captain Crunch. And then, you know, I like to make my own iced coffees. So, I have some of this mocha coffee. And then I have some Starbucks iced coffee medium roast. And then I have some cooked vegetable oil here. I have some A1 steak sauce. And then I wanted to try these Giovanni Flips. So I have a key lime one, a key lime crumble, and a strawberry cheesecake one. And I'll let you know how they taste. <laughs> and then I have some uh, lettuce, some shredded lettuce. I like shredded lettuce and different things. And then I have some um, tamahook mozzarella. And then I want to try this with my steak too. This is smoky mesquite flavor, marinate in the bag, grill it. I hope you guys can see it. Let's do this camera. Just, I know I'm not at the right angle because this looks so dark. It looked dark to me, so I know it probably looked dark to y'all. But yeah, marinate in the bag, okay? So I bought that for my steak. And then I got some, I like this roast beef. If you haven't tried, then you should. This roast beef is really good. And then I have, and this, these. If you haven't tried these, then you should. Miller's, this is a really, really, really good hot dog, okay? I'm telling you, if you haven't tried Miller's beef hot dogs, because I only like beef, I don't, care for the chicken and the um, pork hot dogs and all of that. They have to be beef for me. And then I have some uh, Black Forest ham. I like this ham for sandwiches. It's really good. If you haven't tried it, then you should. And then I have my favorite butter, Kerrygold. I already have the box, which has uh, like, I think, 10 sticks in it. Probably down to about seven now but of the uh garlic and butter so i had to go back and just buy the regular one which is this carry go regular butter i like that if you haven't tried it then you should i have some idaho golden buttery select i'm gonna do these today with the um steak because i don't really feel like doing all of that cutting of the potatoes and all of that so i'm just going to use that Sometimes I like to take the easy way out. And then, um, yeah, I have some um, biscuits. I may do biscuits with this instead of garlic bread. I don't know. And this is just one of my favorite soups. I love vegetable beef soup. I like the barley that's in there. These little things right here, they call barleys. Oh, they're so good in soups. I love this soup. So I got about four of those. And I needed to brush up on some more garlic powder. I was good with the onion powder and things, but I needed more garlic powder, so I got those. I needed some smoked paprika. I have regular already, but I needed some smoke, so I got some of that. And then I got some chili powder, which I was totally out of. So, yeah, I got some more of that. And then, let me see. I got my little snacks. I like to, 
I like snacks and stuff like this. And then, yeah, so do my daughter. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I got some blueberries because I got strawberries in there. So, I brought some blueberries to go with little things that I fix, like breakfast. I like them in my oatmeal and different things like that. And, yeah. And then I got some Kobe Jack. And sometimes I like to get the block and shred it myself because, and then I have some mozzarella. Like I said, sometimes I, ha I like to just get the cheese and the block and shred it myself because it is more creamier. And I, I feel like it melts more better on whatever that you're fixing that if you want something creamy. And, stuff. and then I have some bacon here. I love this bacon. It's a good, uh, great value. Hickory smoked bacon it is really good. If you haven't tried it and you like bacon, hey, try it. It's good. And then I have some Salisbury steak. You fed me a Salisbury steak. <laughs> Mashed potatoes cold in the middle. <laughs> oh, okay, y'all don't pay me nobody. Okay, please don't. I'm just poking fun. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I like Salisbury steak uh, TV dinner still today, okay? So I got me a couple of them for when I just want to snack on something real quick. And then I like chives, okay? I'm an onion person. I love chives. Chives have, they give certain foods a really good flavor, and I love it in cream cheese too. So I got some Philadelphia cream cheese chives. At, yeah, if you can see. And then I also have some blueberry. And I'm going to use this for bagels and different things that I may want to put this on. This, yeah, the blueberry bagel. I mean, blueberry cream cheese. I'm so sorry y'all can't see this like I want y'all to. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's good. And then I have some Star Kissed tuna. Now me, I like my tuna. It should be another one in here because I know I got four cans, but... I like my tuna in oil. Some people may like theirs in water, whatever, soybeans, whatever what you may like yours in. But me, I like mine's in oil. I, I always like my tuna in oil, and I still do. So, yeah, that's why I got tuna in oil. And then I have some sweet Hawaiian hot dog buns that I'm going to use real soon for the Miller hot dogs. And then I also have some... Uh, I want to try these. I have not tried these. Now, I've tried Hawaiian buns, but I have not tried these pretzel buns. But I want to try these. I want to make uh, a few sliders, and I'm, I'm going to do that for you guys so you guys can see how I do this. So that's what these are for. I'm going to make some sliders with these pretzel buns. They look so good, and they're so fresh, and I really can't wait to try them. So, yeah. And then I, um, did I tell you these? Oh, did I should? Oh, okay. And then I bought, okay, and then I also have some of these. Now, I've never tried these any, well, I have, I used to buy these, well, I have bought them before in the past, you know, kids, they like um, stuff like this, bites and stuff, but I really don't really care for boneless chicken, but these look really good, um, honey barbecue flavor. So, yeah, I figure I'll put these in the oven and doctor these up a little bit. And, yeah, try these. I don't know if you guys tried them before, but, yeah, if you haven't, yeah. And if you like bites and you like honey, barbe uh, honey barbecue flavor, then you might like these. So I got those. And then I got these. Now, this is some wild caught cold water lobster tails with butter. I may make these with the steak today. I don't know. Or I may make, because I have a few steaks. So I might make it another day with the steak another day. But I know when I make these, I'm going to make steak and lobster with it. And that I would like to do on camera with you guys. So, yeah, I probably won't make these with the steaks that I make today. I'll wait and make these another time with some steaks. So I'm going to put these in the freezer. They are already frozen and they are two, they are nice size lobsters too. They really are. And they actually come with the butter. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so they have these at Walmart. If you want to go get you some, yeah, go right ahead and do so. Yeah. The lobster tails. Yeah. There you go. And then I have some fresh spinach. So I have a couple of bags of these. 
because I love fresh, uh, fresh spinach and I feel like I've been lagging on it. So I've been getting everything but the spinach. So I got some spinach today. And then I have for my sweet tooth, some Swedish horns. This is like a, a favorite Danish of mine. I like these. And I also have some snowballs. Now this, I love snowballs. Like if I'm going to eat a cupcake, I love snowballs. I don't want, I like the marshmallow with the chocolate. It's so good. So yeah, that's my little sweet, my little sweet tooth. And then I have some hash browns for breakfast. Right here, whenever it comes back in, when it wants to feel like it wants to adjust. And then I also have some, uh, this time I usually get Hillshire when I buy these sausages, but this time I got Johnsonville because I want to see how their smoked sausage tastes. I never really did the uh, Johnsonville. I've always been Hillshire, Hillshire, Hillshire. So I'm going to try this one this time. Yeah. That is not going on. The okay. That cut off, but we're going to resume. Now. Yeah. All right. So then the Johnsonville and show you that. So then I have some tilapia. Now this. These are good. I like tilapia. Now, for a minute, I stopped buying tilapia. But this time, I got the great value tilapia. Usually, I get the other one from Food Co. or something. But this time, I went to and I got the one that they have. Now, I had stopped eating tilapia for a minute because it stopped tasting right to me. But then, my daughter had bought some a few months ago. And I had fried up a few of those. And they, it was back to the flavor that I was familiar with before it started tasting funny to me. So then I started buying it again. So now I'm back eating the tilapia. I like it. It's a, uh, it's really good to me. So if you like tilapia, yeah, Walmart. They got these bags. And then I got some fries for when I'm in the mood for something with some fries. And I got some checker famous fries, okay? Famous seasoned fries, some checker fries. So I got some of these. And then I'm waiting... Now, I seen somebody who had bought some chicken wings, great value chicken wings from Walmart, and they were all flats. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they live, but I'm waiting for them to come to California. To, 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 <laughs> I'm waiting for them to come where I am to my local store. So that I can, I like the party wings, but I'm a flat person. Like, I pick out all the flats first and do them first. Whenever I'm doing anything with chicken cut or more of the flats than, than the legs, I love the flats. The, I'm a flat person. I love the, the wing, the flats of the wing. That's the part that I love. So, especially on the party wings, like the flats, that's for me. So, I seen a bag that said all oh, flats that came from great value. I don't know if they got, I think they got them down south somewhere. But up here, I haven't seen them yet. If you've seen them before, leave them in the comments. Tell me where you from if you have tried the all flats like this, okay? But until I find those, I'll be getting the drumettes. So I have these. And then I also have some cod. Now, I love codfish also. This is the, this is like the fish fish and chips uh, for fish and chips if you want to make deep uh, like battered fish and stuff like that this is the fish for that like mmm fillet, fillet of fish sandwiches and stuff like that cod that's it so I have this too I love cod fish also and then I have these steaks that I got from I love ribeye like ribeye is my favorite steak like ribeye is my my excuse me Ribeye is my favorite steak. Like, I love a ribeye steak, okay? So, these two steaks, mm, I'm doing these today. These are the steaks that I'm going to do today, um, these ribeyes. This is my favorite, either ribeye or a porterhouse. Um, filet mignon is a very tender steak, and I do like it. Yes, I do, but it's tender but flavorful. To, I mean, flavorless to me. You can add your flavors and things like that, but the steak itself to me it's a very tender cut, very, yeah, and all of that, but it really doesn't have much flavor to me. That's just my opinion. But this ribeye and then porterhouse, oh yeah, 
a lot of flavor. So that's my favorite steak. And then I have here, and I like these too. This is a, a seven bone in chuck steak. I like these. I like chuck steaks with the bones. I like, I like steak with the bones. I prefer steak with the bones. And this was a real good deal. This was like eleven eighty eight at Food Co. for this steak right here. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I got this one too. And the two ribeyes wasn't bad either. It's like $10 a steak. So they was like 20 So that wasn't too bad. So yeah. So then I got that. And I think, oh yeah. And then I have, then I have, some country style beans right here. Country style beans. I like these when I'm doing barbecue or whatever that I want when I want to make some baked beans with it. Yeah, these are the ones I go for. And I have another can of those somewhere around here too. And then I have these. Now, I'm going to tell you, tell you, tell you. If you don't know about these things right here, then you better know. Because... I got two of these. Every time I go to Walmart, it's the only place where I can really find the cans, the, the, the cans like this. These are Planters Honey Roasted Whole Cashews. This is my favorite, favorite nut out of every peanuts that there, could be, that there is, okay? I love a cashew nut, and these honey roasted ones, they are so delicious. Oh, I'm telling you. So I had to get two cans because... It's another snack that I like to snack on when I'm just, you know, snacking around. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is another one. So, yeah, if you don't haven't tried these, baby, you might want to if you like nuts. And then I have some avocado oil here, which is my favorite, favorite oil. It's very high in heat, and it doesn't burn. So, if you like uh, uh, avocado oil, Try this one. It's good. I actually buy this instead of olive oil now. I don't buy... I mean, I will buy olive oil, but I rather prefer the um, avocado oil. And then I have some sugar. CNH. Pure cane sugar. That's the one. That's it. That's pure cane sugar. And I think that will do it for my grocery haul. Let me see. Wait a minute. And I also had to stop and get some more aluminum foil and, well, and some aluminum foil. And then I had to stop and get a to keep cutting off. I know I'm done. And then I had to get some asparagus. So these are really nice asparagus, and I actually got. I didn't get. Uh, yeah, I didn't get these from Walmart. I actually. Forgot, I didn't see them there. So, I mean, they do have them, but they have them in the frozen. And when I do asparagus, I like to, um, yeah, get them fresh, not frozen in back. So, that will do it for my grocery haul. Let me make some space so I can upload this video. And I will see you guys soon in the kitchen when I'm putting together this steak, okay? So, don't go far. And until the next video, God bless you all.